right now, but...
when he leaves, you come. All right. Good evening and welcome to the 116th commencement of Blaine High School, celebrating the class of 2022. The Star Spangled Banner will be performed by the Blaine High School Chamber Choir under the direction of Mr. Andrew Marshall. Please rise. Please be seated. Good evening. My name is Wayne Vizzetti and, and I am the middle school assistant principal and the school district career and technical education director. Mrs. Fakma, will you please stand? It is an honor to be here today to recognize Mrs. Carolyn Fakima. Three years ago, she was given the opportunity to become our new family and consumer science teacher under an emergency CTE certificate. She was given this opportunity because the administration knew she had what it takes to be an amazing teacher. In order for the district to grant an emergency certificate, it was required that Mrs. Fakima completed her undergraduate degree and earn a master's degree in four years. Over the past three years, Mrs. Fakma has finished her undergraduate degree and earned a master's degree in family and consumer sciences education from Central Washington University. Go Wildcats! And she did this while she was a full-time teacher at BHS. The graduation ceremony for CWU is taking place tonight in Ellensburg but Mrs. Fackman decided she would rather celebrate its accomplishment with her Borderite family. C Mrs. Fackma, congratulations.
College came to Blaine from Montana in 1942 to teach high school math and science. He also coached football for a while. Reg was a teacher for a year and a half before being named principal in 1943. He remained principal of BHS until he retired in 1972. Our science building was named after him. He and his wife, Vivian, were supporters of all school and town activities. The Reg Campen Outstanding Teacher Award was first given out in 2005. Last year's winner, Daniel Rucker, will present the award to this year's winner, Michael Grambo. Good evening, or as the famous Mr. Dahl would say, good day. Faculty, family, friends, and of course, my fellow graduates. My name is Aidan Vizzetti, and I thank all of you for being here to celebrate with us. For everyone who knows me, the idea that I would be standing before hundreds of people giving a speech quite inconceivable. In fact, I told my parents, nope, not happening. I am not giving a graduation speech. But after a few days of intense prodding from my mom and dad, I realized what an honor it would be to give thanks on behalf of my fellow classmates and for myself, to all who made today possible. I'd like to give thanks to all staff, administrators, teachers, coaches, parents, friends, and family. Your instruction, encouragement, guidance, dedication, patience, and love has ushered us to this momentous finish line. We are 138 graduates, all with our stories, missteps, and learning moments. My classmates and I are incredibly grateful to those who stayed the course with us. We thank you. My final lesson as a Blaine student is that I can give a speech in front of hundreds of people and survive. When you work hard and achieve excellence, you will be rewarded with extra homework. <laughs> Let us remember that we are never alone, but surrounded by love, support, and so many cheering us on. Thank you for the honor of being your salutatorian, a memory that I will someday appreciate and the lesson that anything is truly possible. God bless this class of 2022. Thank you, Aiden, for the introduction. Again, good evening to everyone in attendance this evening. My name is Jackson Courtlever. Athletics has taught me many things, so many things, in fact, I won't have a chance to fit it in this little window of time I've got here, so I'm gonna narrow it down. <clears throat> athletics has taught me not just the importance of using deodorant in locker rooms, which is still very important, but also the importance of relationships and overall camaraderie. Looking all the way back to freshman year, I still remember the first team meeting we had in the fall for football. Needless to say, I was intimidated. I was a small fish in this huge pond, and I didn't really know what to do. Feels like I blinked, and now I'm here, graduating a few years later. Comparing my freshman year to now makes me realize how many bonds I was able to create and develop over these years. Athletics had greatly contributed to that. This feeling of camaraderie is not by any means exclusively shared to athletics. It can be with academics, fine arts, clubs, and the community in general. Knowing you have this group, this family alongside you as you progress through the maze that is high school is a truly great feeling. I wouldn't be where I am today, standing on the stage, speaking to you now as a valedictorian if I didn't have that support, and I'm truly grateful for that. I'm sure that we, the class of 2022, can all agree that we have felt some form of support from the Blaine community, from friends, to coaches, to teachers, to family members, really anybody out there at one point or another. Many of us will be going on to college next year, facing new challenges like being away from home, harder classes, and eating the same top ramen meal for three weeks straight. But don't lose hope. You will surely create new bonds, new relationships on your future endeavors, just as you did here at Blaine High School. You'll always have a family, no matter the size, to lift you up and allow you to thrive. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. Hello, my name is Andon Hawley. And following Jackson's theme, I would like to talk about why school is easy. 
in relation to athletics, of course. I'm not saying it wasn't challenging at times, um, or that I cheated through school, but I was given so much support from my coaches, friends, teammates, teachers, and most importantly, my family, that when school should have been hard, it wasn't. They helped me through my hardest days and joined me in all my triumphs. Now, I thought at the start, school really wasn't that easy all the time. I, I had my own struggles. But school did feel easier than it should have been because of sports and those around me. And you would think it's the opposite. You would think that the time, energy, and struggle that comes with playing three sports a year would make school a lot harder. But that's not the case for me. Athletics has made my perception of how difficult school actually is diminish. Writing an essay or taking a math test is nothing compared to the challenges I face on the football field, basketball court, or pitcher's mound. My coaches and teammates were pushing me to my limit and expanding what I thought was possible for me to accomplish. The very fact that I am standing here giving this speech as a valedictorian would not have been possible without the incredible coaches and mentors I've had here at Blaine. The lessons they've taught me have molded me into the young man I am today. And I will continue to heed their words as I head into my future. I am forever grateful for the time I spent playing for Blaine and playing for you coaches. Thank you. Thank you, Aiden, and hello, my name is Aiden Hawley. I remember talking to many seniors my freshman year, and they all said it goes by so fast. I somewhat believed them, but it felt like there was still plenty of time. They were right, and all of a sudden I'm here. I don't have much to compare Blaine to, but I'm quite confident in saying I wouldn't have rather gone to school anywhere other than Blaine. I have truly enjoyed my time here. I credit that to my numerous and outstanding friends, teachers, and coaches. Blaine is home to countless overqualified teachers and many dedicated individuals. People ask how hard it is to maintain a 4.0 and become a valid Victorian. It's certainly not easy, but the most important aspect is simple yet difficult. I think the hardest part is simply getting out of bed and showing up. It's about making a commitment to being at school and going to classes. I think that's what these four years are all about. Can you learn to show up and take on the day? If you don't show up, you'll never know what could have happened. By not showing up to school, you can miss one of Mr. Worthy's or Mr. Rucker's epic stories, or Mr. Dahl playing the accordion, one of Mr. Berklid's corny dad jokes, a kickball game with Coach Dodd, Mr. Grambo's wise words of wisdom, the hilarious inside joke at the lunch table, or, worst of all, not getting to watch Tartuffe by Moyer with Mr. Nix. The start to any journey or good day is to show up and let everything else fall into place. Famous comedian Joey Diaz, when talking about the start of his career, said, I just showed up at the comedy store. You keep showing up, and you keep showing up, and eventually somebody notices. In our futures, there will be many difficult days where our bed feels like the only place we belong. I encourage you all to take the biggest step for success every day and simply show up. Hello all, my name is Seth Zook. Yes, that's how you pronounce my last name. With having a last name that starts with Z-U, I'm used to being last in line for almost everything. I'm at the back of the line, one last time. Going, bad, going last isn't all bad though, now I get to steal ideas from these four. High school and life in general is about finding a path that you believe in following. Belief is quite important. Belief leads to hope, and hope allows you to push through anything. I hope everyone agrees with me and my belief in Blaine, the class of 2022, the teachers and staff that ha have helped us get to graduation, the community of Blaine that has supported generations of fine young men and women from this little place we call home, and I believe that even when things will be difficult and challenging, we can all find a way to make an impact in this world. Sometimes it feels as if the world around us does not want us to succeed, whether it be academically, athletically, COVID-related, or anything else. But this class has found a way to succeed and succeed in a huge way. This speaks volumes to the character and work ethic of each and every one of the students we celebrate here today. And the class of 2022 should be an example for future classes at Blaine. All of our past will only propel us into our future. With that being said, I must wrap up with another quote from the famous everything man, Mr. Dahl. For the class of 2022, let's make today and every day the best day ever.
Teachers, parents, and students, good evening. My name is Jinjin. Jin. I think at this moment, you all feel the same as I do, both filled with the excitement and joy of graduating, and overflowing with emotions, because from today, our high school journey is about to draw to a close. As we embark on a new journey in life, we will say goodbye to our cl classmates who have been together all this time. We will say goodbye to our teachers, and we will say goodbye to this memorable campus of Blaine High School. In these four years, we were encouraged by one another, helped, e helped each other in multiple ways. We learned and grew together in the same classrooms, and now we meet here with dreams and expectations to graduate from high school. This end will become another starting point to our future success and journey. I wish all of you a smooth sail to the road to future success. I also wish our, all of our teachers happiness and good health in the days ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Jinjin. Jin. 
My name is Stephanie Bocek. I would like to begin by saying thank you. Thank you for your guidance, devotion, compassion, support, and generosity. Thank you for the special experiences, the valuable lessons, and the beautiful memories. The Blaine School District has enabled the class of 2022 to achieve incredible feats and has empowered us to continue to achieve success. For the last 12 years, we observed unwavering commitment, and as graduates, we will strive to achieve the commitment we admired as students. We will strive to be undaunted by adversity, and we will strive to remain resolutely devoted to our pursuits. For the last 12 years, we observed generosity, and as graduates, we will strive to share the generosity we received as students. We will strive to act selflessly and strive to improve our society through kindness. For the last 12 years, we observed passion and enthusiasm. As graduates, we will strive to act with the passion and enthusiasm we benefited from as students. We will strive to pursue our interests and we will strive to act with vigor. For the last 12 years, we observed skill and proficiency. As graduates, we will strive to achieve the proficiency that we were entranced by as students. We will strive to achieve mastery in every enterprise we pursue. Again, thank you. The class of 2022 has been inspired by your efforts. We will achieve greatness, and we will change our world. Thank you, Jinjin and Stephanie. Good evening, everyone. My name is Connor Hatinga. I know that I haven't been with this class from the very beginning, but after all these years together, I don't know what my life would be like without the school and its students. All the teachers and all the friends that I have made along the way, I thank you for everything that you have taught me. Public school was a difficult change from homeschool, but it taught me how to react to stress and how to manage my time wisely. But high school is over now. So what comes next? University, the workforce, a tech school, or even community college. Everyone has their own path to take, and I wish you all the best in whatever you decide to accomplish in the future. If there's anything that I have learned from this school, is that if you try hard enough, and if you set your mind to something, you can, you can accomplish something great. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you from space. Good evening, faculty, families, and fellow graduates. For many of us, our time here in Blaine holds many fond memories. We made friends, celebrated accomplishments, and supported each other during times of struggle. Our education here helped prepare us for our future, laying a foundation to build upon as we step into a world of possibilities. While we close this chapter of our lives, I encourage each and every one of us to embrace the future as we strive to achieve our personal goals. Never forget there are no limits to your dreams. Thank you. Hello, my name is Alexandra Streeter and I'm so honored to be one of this year's valedictorians. On Monday morning, I thought I had my speech all planned out. That was until fifth period English class with Mr. Worthy. He had picked out a poem for us to analyze by Alfred Lord Tennyson. And by the end of class, I knew I needed to make a change to my speech. One line at the end really stuck out to me. To strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. I think we are often discouraged by our failures and hardships, but as Tennyson reminds us, we are strong because of our will to strive. Every person here today is here because of their hard work and dedication and our will to succeed. Many countless hours went into this day, and it is time for us to celebrate. Throughout the years, we have been faced with many challenges, hard classes, social hardships, and one of the biggest, attending online school for many months. It has not been easy, but our resilience has made it possible. That same determination is what we need in life. Whether you are attending a four-year college, two-year college, tech school, trade school, joining the military, entering the workforce, or taking a gap year, we will be faced with many challenging situations that we must overcome. We will be tested and tried, but we can also persevere. I am so excited to see what the future holds for each of you, and I am thankful to have been a part of this school. Hello, 
my name is Tommy Stiles, and as you may have noticed by now, the valedictorian speeches were encouraged to be held to about a minute, and let me tell you, that's not a lot of time. Um, I made sure to pray to get exactly what I needed in here, and it's not a lot of time, it's not enough time to express the thanks for all the people who made this possible, for all the teachers, counselors, everybody else who went into this. It's not enough to express the excitement that we have for the future of this class. And really, a minute is just incredibly short. And actually, looking back on the last few years, that feels incredibly short too. As some people have already said, it goes by really fast. We were warned at the beginning of our freshman year, and let me tell you, it's, it's gone now. And many even say, life goes faster as you age. Who knows how many minutes you have left in your life, or how many minutes until you can't do the things that you used to be able to. Those minutes are going to go by quickly too. And what do we do with all those extra minutes? I've seen some of us on our phones wasting them, um, doing mindless tasks, things that aren't really that important. What do we need to be doing? We need to be seizing the time that we have left because there's going to be a day when we aren't going to be able to do the things that we love, we've loved due to whatever accident. Not, it's not even death that stops it. It's just something that happens as you get closer or as you age. Eventually, you aren't able to do the things you used to be able to do. You need to put that time towards something useful. Friends, family, don't forsake a second. Time is the only commodity you really can't buy back. As Seth said earlier, we need to make every day the best day ever. Well, my minute's over. Now it's time for all of you to use yours. Thank you. Will all the students who already received an award or scholarship at recognition night please stand? All of these outstanding young men and women have set the standard for Blaine students for years to come, and we are extremely proud of them. All of their awards and scholarships are listed in your program, and we invite you to read through them. Let's give them a rousing round of applause. We will now announce awards and scholarships which have, were not announced at Recognition Night. Danielle Fisher, please stand. Danielle received a scholarship from the U.S. Marine Corps. Congratulations, Danielle. Paige Linhares, please stand. Paige was awarded the Provost Merit Scholarship from Oregon State University. Congratulations, Paige. Kristen Kamrath, please stand. And Scott Baldwin, sorry. These students are the recipients of the WIAA Cliff Gillies Student Athlete Award. Congratulations, Scott and Kristen. Rayanne Muchler, please stand. <laughs> Rayanne has received a wrestling scholarship for the University of Jamestown. Congratulations. <laughs> Haley Pike and Jackson Courtlever, please stand. These students are the recipients of the Female and Male Athlete of the Year Awards for Blaine High School. Congratulations, Jackson and Haley. Kristen.
Kristen Kamrath, please stand. Chris Kristen is a recipient of the Linden and Ferndale International Masonic Lodge Scholarship for 2022. Congratulations. Ariana McDonough, please stand. Ariana has been awarded the Art Institute of Chicago four-year merit scholarship. Congratulations, Ariana. Tatum Fitzgerald, please stand. Tatum is the recipient of the Dennis and Audrey Brown Charitable Foundation, as well as the Jaguar Achievement Scholarship and the Dream Scholarship, both from the University of Southern Alabama. Congratulations. Kylie Loverich, please stand. Kylie has been awarded both the Admissions Award and the Western Scholars Award from Western Washington University. Congratulations, Kylie. Rodrigo Ortiz Mendoza, please stand. Rodrigo is a recipient of the four-year Washington Opportunity Baccalaureate Scholarship for Western Washington University. Congratulations. Connor Hatinga, please stand. Connor is the winner of the Ore Digger Scholarship from Montana Tech. Congratulations, Connor. It is my pleasure to present the graduating class of 2022, Dr. Christopher Granger, Superintendent and Secretary of the Board. I hereby assert, based upon the recommendations of the faculty, the students before you have successfully completed the high school graduation requirements as established by the State Board of Education pursuant to the revised Code of Washington. Dr. Granger. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. By the virtue of the authority granted by the state of Washington, vested in me by the Board of Directors, and acting upon the recommendation of the administration and faculty of Blaine High School, I accept the graduates of the class of 2022, who have completed their high school requirements and grant them the diploma of graduation with all its applicable rights and privileges. Congratulations. Cole Joseph Abshir. Cole is contemplating taking aquaculture science classes at Bellingham Technical College while continuing to work at Pacific Building Center or just go fishing. Jocelyn Alferenz Mendoza. Jocelyn will be attending Bell Bellingham Technical College to study radiology. Landon G. Allenbaugh. Landon plans to make money. Isabella Taylor. Isabella plans to take a year off, then will attend Wacom Community College to pursue an associate's degree in science. Seth Zook. Seth plans to attend St. Louis University to pursue a career in engineering. Sam Sibley. 
Sam will enter into the workforce after getting their associate's degree. Aiden Michael Vizzetti. Aiden plans on attending a community college to play baseball and then transfer to Boise State University to pursue a degree in computer science. Taya Lynn Larson. Taya plans to attend Western Washington University where she will, where she will pursue a teaching degree. Thomas Stiles. Tommy will attend the University of Washington and hopes to pursue a career as an aerospace engineer. Taylor Lynn Dickinson. Taylor will be attending Bellingham Technical College. Jackson Courtlever. Jackson will be attending the College of Idaho to pursue a degree in computer science and play football. Go Yotes! Hongjin Zhu. Hongjin. Hongjin plans to attend Vanderbilt University to pursue pre-med. Andon Cole Holly. Andon plans to attend Cal Poly University in St. Louis Obispo to major in engineering. Alexandra R. Streeter. Alexandra will be attending the University of South Dakota this fall to study medical biology. Aiden Holly. Aiden plans to attend Cal Poly Pomona to study aerospace engineering. Claire Ruth French. Claire will attend the University of Washington this fall. She plans a major in biology or biochemistry and minor in global health. She will also pursue a pre-dental track. Connor Hatinga. Connor will be attending Montana Tech University to pursue a career in engineering and computer science. Stephanie Bocek. Stephanie will be attending Stanford University next fall to pursue a degree in chemical engineering. Ava Isabel Baker. Ava plans to start working next year. Scott Baldwin. Scott plans to attend Grand Canyon University to pursue a degree in the pre-pharmacy program. Valentina Bienname. <laughs> Valentina plans to attend Wacom Community College next year to pursue an associate's degree in arts and sciences, then transfer to the University of Washington to complete her career path uh, of becoming a psychiatrist. <laughs> Dylan Bankston. Dylan plans to get a job. <laughs> G 
Gabriella Brianne Blanco. Gabriella plans to attend Arizona State University to pursue a degree in business and finance and play club soccer. Shiloh Ben. Shiloh plans to attend Wacom Community College for two years, then transfer to the Southern California University to pursue a degree in visual arts. Caitlin Bravner. Caitlin plans to continue working. Hunter Berg. Hunter plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career in welding. Anastasia R. Briais. Anastasia plans to get a job. Elijah Bernstein. Elijah will be attending Western Washington University to pursue a career in computer science. Caitlin Ann Byram. Caitlin is moving to Texas to attend college to become a lawyer. Jaden Bowman. Jaden will sell propane and propane accessories for Strickland Propane. Casey Carr Van Dusen. Casey will learn to train horses in Anacortes from a horse trainer named Kip Larson. Jonathan D. Burke. Jonathan is planning to move to Arizona. Gabriella Catano. Gabby plans to attend Whatcom Community College to start paralegal studies while continuing to work. Preston Alexander Bushman. Preston plans to work for half of the year before going to college. Jordan Lynn Doyle. Jordan plans to continue working at More Smiles Daycare and will start school next year to become a teacher. <laughs> now I've got you. Catherine Cunningham. <laughs> Catherine will continue to explore her job interests and her passions. Brady Castiano. Brady will attend Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career in diesel technology. Jack Cheatham. Jack plans to attend Western Washington University. Ellie Faulkner. <laughs> Ellie will be attending the University of Redlands to pursue a career in psychology.
Caleb Isaac Conaway. Caleb plans to work at North Star Woodworks. Danielle Fisher. Danielle will be attending Pacific Lutheran University to pursue a career in psychology. Eduardo Contreras, Jr. Eduardo plans to attend Wacom Community College to earn an associate's degree in business. Jessica Lynn Fisher. Jess plans to attend the transitions program for four years and go into ghost hunting. Gabe Cranford. Gabe will be attending Wacom Community College next year to pursue an associate's degree and then transfer to a film school. Tatum Fitzgerald. Tatum will be attending the University of South Alabama and plans to earn a bachelor's degree in nursing. Then she will become a traveling pediatric RN. Spencer Dolry. Spencer will be attending Angard to study HVAC over the summer. Ryan Fuchs. Ryan plans to attend the University of Idaho to pursue a doctorate in physical therapy. Go Vandals. Samuel De Los Reyes. Samuel plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a career in computer science. Liberty Galloway. Liberty will be receiving her associate's degree at Wacom Community College next week and transfer to Western Governors University to pursue her early education while continuing to raise her son. Austin Deming. Austin plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career in computer engineering. Alexandria Page Gamel. Alex will be attending Wacom Community College next year to earn an associate's degree in teaching. Peyton Dixon. Peyton will attend Western Welding Academy next year to pursue a career in pipe welding. Taylor Goforth. Taylor plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to become an ultrasound technician. Nathaniel Dodge. Nathaniel will be going into law enforcement after working and traveling. Woo! Angela Alexa Gutierrez. Angela will be attending the University of Washington next fall to major in education and has plans to become a high school English teacher. Avery Donor.
Avery will be attending Central Washington University. Zofi Helena. Zofi will be attending Oregon State University to, studers, to study zoology. Joshua Evanstad. Joshua will volunteer at a nonprofit called Demole in Washington. Emily Jean Marie Hayes. Emily plans to attend Bellingham Technical College in the fall. Tristan Lee Fan. Tristan plans to continue working at Peace Health. Neve Hester. Neve will take a year off before attending Bellingham Technical College to study nursing. James Fellers. James plans to join the Army next fall. Emily Huffman. <laughs> Emily plans to transfer from Whatcom Community College to Western Washington University and pursue a career in education. Christian Robert Finkbonner. <laughs> Christian will attend Bellingham Technical College next fall to study welding. Kristen Kamrath. Kristen plans to attend Cornell College to earn a degree in business administration. Connor F. Fleck. Connor plans to attend Skagit Valley College to pursue a career in healthcare. Megan Carling. Megan will be attending college in Texas to become a psychiatrist. Adrian Gonzalez. Adrian will be working at Ford Motor Industries. Momina Akhtar Khan. Momina plans to attend Wacom Community College, then transfer to Washington University to complete a major in business. Zeke Green. Zeke plans to attend trade school to become an electrician. Deanna Ivanova Coveton.
Deanna plans to attend Whatcom Community College for the next two years, then transfer to university to pursue her degree in engineering. Jaden Gutierrez. Jaden plans to continue working at the Lummi Early Learning Center next year. Paige Madison Linhares. Paige plans on attending Oregon State University to pursue a degree in history. Psalm Francis Hayfitch. Psalm will be attending Western Washington University. Michaela Long. <laughs> Michaela will take a year off, then attend Evergreen in Olympia to participate in the beauty program. Joseph Haworth. <laughs> Joseph plans on working. Kylie Loverich. <laughs> Kylie plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a career in teaching math and physics. Connor Rootfjord. Connor plans to attend the University of Nevada, Las Vegas for secondary education. Taya Marshall. Taya plans to attend Whatcom Community College to pursue an associate's degree in science to prepare for a career in oceanography. Elijah Huffman. Elijah will attend Bellingham Technical College next fall to study engineering. Ari McDonough. Woo, Ari! Ari plans to attend School of the Art Institute of Chicago to study animation. Woo! Benjamin King. Woo! Ben plans to start driver's ed, then attend Bellingham Technical College in spring. Gabriella Morales. Gabriella will attend Bellingham Technical College next fall to pursue a career in dental hygiene. Kevin Legerway. Kevin plans to save money, then attend Bellingham Technical College for automotive and collision repair. Ella Molinix. Ah! Ella plans to get her real estate license and continue working at her current job. Laxine Tuckin Tubton. Pat plans to attend Everett Community College. Rayanne Mutchler. <laughs> Rayanne plans to wrestle for the University of Jamestown in the fall. Trevor A.P. Merriweather. <laughs> Trevor plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career in welding.
Braseda Velasco Vieda. Braseda will be attending Wacom Community College to pursue a degree in hospitality and tourism management and play soccer for the Orcas. Daniel P. Michaud. Daniel plans to study business management and administration in the fall. Ruby O'Neill. Ruby's plans are top secret. Aiden B. Miller. Aiden will be attending Bellingham Technical College. Yosemary Ortiz Mendoza. Yosemary will be attending Wash Western Washington University for the next four years. Patrick S. Mundy. Patrick plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue video game design. Zoe Parks. Yeah. Zoe plans on attending Whatcom Community College next year to study psychology. Yeah. Kenley Sean Olinger Sturrett. Yeah. Kenley plans to pursue a technical education. Haley Pike. <laughs> Haley plans to attend the University of Montana Western to continue playing basketball and earn a degree in early childhood education. <laughs> Leland Harper Olson. Leland plans on enlisting four years in the Marine Corps, then re-enlisting for another four years of service, or pursue gunsmithing as a career. Anna Pilar. Anna plans to attend Whatcom Community College. Rodrigo Alessandro Ortiz Mendoza. Rodrigo plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a degree in computer engineering. Riley Pitcher. Riley will be attending University of Montana Western next year to study business. Cameron Otterstad. Cameron plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue engineering. Autumn Rose Porter. Autumn plans to attend Evergreen Beauty College to get her esthetician's license.
Nathan L. Price. Nathan plans to go straight into the workforce. Serenity Faye Pruitt. Serenity will attend Whatcom Community College for two years, then pursue university for a degree in education. Jonathan David Puha. Jonathan plans to attend Western Washington University to earn a bachelor's degree in business and administration, finance concentration. Lila Ann Rahm. Lila will be attending Bellingham Technical College to study baking and pastries. Simon Rasmussen. Simon plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a degree in music education. Maya Ricketts Comac. Maya will, be, will take a break from school, then become a veterinarian assistant. Colton Robert Rector. Colton plans on attending college to pursue a master's in film and digital video productions. Randy Roos. Randy plans to attend Central Methodist University to play soccer and pursue a career in sports medicine. James Schreib. James will attend the Blaine School District's transition program next fall. Natalie Schmidt. <laughs> Natalie plans to continue working in childcare and pursue a degree in early childhood education. <laughs> Carson Sothi. <laughs> Carson plans to go into aviation. Juniper Shea. Yeah. Juniper plans on attending Whatcom Community College to pursue a degree in business. Lane Stacy. Lane plans on attending Purdue University Global in the fall to begin his path towards working in the information technology industry. Emery Snow. <laughs> Emery will be attending Santa Clara University this fall to pursue a degree in business. <laughs> Angelo Hovello Tarlet. <laughs> Angelo plans to attend Everett Community College next fall to study b medical sciences. Brielle Solomon. Yeah. Brielle will attend Perry Technical Institute in Yakima to become a diesel mechanic. Cole Thomas. Cole plans to attend Delta State University next year to pursue a bachelor's in commercial aviation and play on the school's basketball team. Emma Stoffer. <laughs> Emma is headed to Bellingham Technical College for medical training.
Keaton Thornton. Keaton plans on working while exploring many more jobs. Celise Stowe. Celise plans to attend the University of Washington to pursue a career in business management. Ben Totten. Ben will take a year off to play hockey with the Bellingham Blazers, as well as work on getting a book published. Libby Thompson. Libby is attending Whatcom Community College. Nahum Vasquez. Nahum will attend Bellingham Technical College to become an electrician. Ariana Marie Townsend. Ariana plans to attend Wacom Community College. Hayden Veals. Hayden will be attending Universal Technical Institute this fall to pursue a degree in automotive tech and a career in auto racing. Hannah Van Manchem. <laughs> Hannah will pursue a degree in pre-medicine at Western Washington University. Alexander Welch. Alex intends to follow in the footsteps of his hero. Michelle Bialobos. Michelle will be attending Wacom Community College to pursue a medical assistant career. Owen Emery Reese Fareel Wilkett. <laughs> Owen will be attending Bell Bellingham Technical College. Victoria Vicky Yaravoy. Victoria plans to finish her associate's degree at Wacom Community College this summer and then apply to a nursing program by January 2023. Dre Jackson. Dre will be full-time streaming. Aisha Crambo. Aisha plans on taking time off and traveling to Spain and then attend college.
and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2022.